Ah, YouTube, it's yours truly back with another highlight reel video. And this time, we're talking about gold 99s. So we got the Jay-Z 99 problem instrumental. Because these guys get four abilities. That's what makes them better than the blue 99s, which could be camped up to 99. Or any overall that's lower than 99. Those four abilities, they get that one extra one. So I know you got a question. Who's better? Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson. I'm showing Barry clips right here. To be determined. You know, that, that's a crazy run. It looked like he had Freight Train 100 on right there. Be honest. <laughs> Broke about four or five tackles down the sidelines. But there's pros and cons. I might do a later uh, review with the golden ticket running back. I believe Adrian Peterson will probably be the first running back since Ezekiel Elliott just got an upgrade. So, AP versus Barry versus Eric Dickerson. But... That was sick right there. That's a human joystick. And it's, it's an OP ability. I played one top 100 dude named Mick Bacon Strips who ran human joystick Devin Hester with protected custody so he couldn't fumble. Human joystick Tyree Hill and human joystick Barry Sanders. And he was a problem. I beat him 7-24. to 24, So he'd be like, he only scored one TD on you. How was he a problem? He never fumbled. Uh... But every run looked like he got took it to the house. He was just horrible to stick work. Like, if I got those same lanes and open field, there's no way I'm getting tackled. Like, it was scary every time, man. It looked like I had him in the backfield and he'd just swerve and get yardage. Right there, spin move. I I'm not even going to talk about the evasive. Y'all know how evasive gets down. But human joystick is great. Is it overhyped? Maybe. I played a lot of berries, and they none of them really gave me problems. Played about a handful, probably five to seven. And none of them really gave me problems right here. That's just wild. Human joystick is different. But what I do like more than ED is the two uh, gurus, right? So I got pin and pull guru and I got stretch guru, which is outside zone guru. That's the name of it. And you see right there, you get really good block on outside zones or stretch plays. Able to run to the outside. Great plays by my O-line, man. My O-line doesn't get enough credit. I boosted them up on the left side. They're both gold 99s as well. Oh, my God. I just got that man doing ballerina moves. But I boosted my left side up. They're both 99s. I got Joe Thomas and Joe Thune. And if you didn't know, they get another ability as well. So you could run three abilities on your uh, O-line, man. You want to run Nasty Streak, Run Blocker Elite, and uh, Pass Block Elite. You could. But... I don't think o lineman uh, just having abilities on uh, o lineman and your running back to me doesn't sound that great. I, I prefer quarterback, wide receiver, running back. A lot of people are running quarterback and then two pass catchers like a wide receiver or a tight end. That's been pretty problematic. You like to pass a lot. That's definitely a good suggestion. But for my balance style, I prefer the 1-1-1. One, one, one. But Barry Sanders, the first one free ability, if you don't know, Compared to Freight Train 100, it's not nearly as good. But there are some pros and cons. First one free, 100. You could have the all game. Where Freight Train 100 with Eric Dickerson is five plays guaranteed. But the con to that, right? You can only have uh, first one free one play. Where Freight Train 100 is five plays guaranteed. So, it depends. So, if you get tackled with Barry in the backfield, you get... Uh, tackled and you fumble with bear you lose it right then and there so i mean that could of course happen on the first play or play 25 or whatever it doesn't matter but ed is five plays this beat just went off i'm gonna come back with another and i'm back with the dj Khaled for free instrumental because you kind of got this card for free and you used the power up pass on them now i would recommend that on barry sanders Randall Cunningham's a quarterback. I, I'm not sure if I recommend it on him. There's so many other quarterbacks that can do exactly what he does. Uh, Mike Vick, if you want somebody similar. Lamar Jackson doesn't have a throw power, so I will, really wouldn't say him. But Mike Vick, you want a mobile quarterback with a cannon. Accurate. Remember, there's thresholds for accuracy, so don't worry about Randall Cunningham's medium accuracy, whatever. It's going to be good to go. You're going to be able to make all the passes. But... He's up next after these Barry highlights. We're going to use Barry again. I don't know when that running back is coming out, so we're probably going to use Barry again. And we're going to see. I want to get a larger sample size before I say he's better than ED or say that ED is better than him. If you had to ask me after one week, who would I give it to? 
it's tough to say, man. It's not really black or white. Because there's some plays like right there. I was putting on four people and I got a TD. I kind of did the same thing with ED probably. I think about that a whole lot of times. Like, all right, some of these runs where I'm doing human joystick, I couldn't with uh, ED. But there's some runs where I get tackled. I'm like, all right, ED probably got a TD there. Especially in open field. Barry's more elusive with a human joystick. But ED, he has longer strides, so he really gets hocked down. Like, Barry got hocked down on a few of these plays. You only get ED. You got the angle. But let's talk about this man, Randall Cunningham. He has human joystick too. And right there, right before half with the bomb for the TD. All about knowing coverage beaters. And I told, I gave credit to my uh, O-line. Told you guys about them. They've been playing great. Uh, it's also me too. I got so much better at picking up blocks. You don't know 9 out of 10 times what you want to do is slide your, uh, I often say shift, but shift or slide. Either one works. Whatever one you want me to use. Just plug it in there. Shift them to the side where the tight end is. And then ID the dude on the other side that people are sitting at seven. Of course, you got to block your tight end and your running back. You got to block seven to block seven, right? But go ahead. Shift towards the tight end. ID the dude farthest on the other side. Your running back will pick him up. Everybody should be blocked. Now, your old line does matter on how long they block for. But you do all that nine out of ten times, you should be good to go. Unless they're running some exotic blitz. Then, let me come back with another instrumental. Back with a Drake survival instrumental. Because to increase your survival, then you might want to shift your, well, motion your tight end right to the other side. So your tight end was on the right. Motion him to the left. Then uh, shift your line to the left. And then ID the, the dude on the right so your running back picks him up. So basically just flip sides with it. Uh... You can always try that route, too. I do that a few plays here for, like, example right there. I motioned my tight end to the left, and then I basically just flipped it to ensure that I got that time. I had X on the drag before he turned up field, but ran out of bounds, get 10 yards. Randall's really good at running. That's one thing where I don't think he warrants human joystick. I did change his abilities. I got evasive off of him, and I put on last ditch. My boy Kev was talking about last ditch is really good, whatever. He saved on a few times, so I put that on. I do like it. I got the ball off on a couple throwaways and a couple TD bombs. Where I'm like, all right, maybe I, when I got off, I didn't have last ditch. Who knows, right? But then he survived. Remember, we went 25-0. and 0. I told you guys, he had to go 25-0 and 0 again to stay on the team. Then he survived, or did we switch back to Carson Wentz? These are the questions here, man. Uh... Gonna have to find out, right? The game of the week. We're gonna have two game of the weeks drop tomorrow. We're gonna drop another gold 99 today, hopefully. But two game of the weeks tomorrow. We got 10 of those, so we gotta get through those, right? We definitely gotta get through those. So, it's interesting, right? Let's see, he survives. Let's see. But it also depends on who the golden tickets are. If he goes 50 and 0, I would hate to switch off for him, but I know the golden tickets are better. I know they are. So it's gonna be we're gonna see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let you guys pick. If he went fifty and no, what happens? Do we keep him despite golden tickets coming out or do we replace him with a golden ticket? You guys let me know in the comment section below. But right here that's a great run by him. But I'm like, dang, if I had evasive I might be able to wild out right there, right? Take that for a TD. But I went 25 and 0 with him. I'm going to come back with another instrumental. Back with the DJ Khaled, I'm the one instrumental. Because I went 25 and 0 with him. But he wasn't the reason why. The biggest change was not the change from Carson Wentz to Randall Cunningham. As he makes this play right here that I think no quarterback while he and Joyce State probably could have made. Or at least Carson Wentz wouldn't have, right? Getting a first down with that, staying in bounds to get it to, having to tiptoe and. That was crazy stick work. Don't try this at home. Results may vary. That's rolling to the left under pressure, getting it over the Deion Sanders cornerback, getting it under the Sean Taylor's free safety. Like, oh, my goodness. On the run, dot. I mean, anybody could do that right. But remember, this is a trained professional behind the sticks. I'm a man with no life and no wife. So all I do is play Madden. I get better and better. And look at these dots, right? But let's talk about the reason I went 25 now. It's one man in particular who I think was the biggest factor, and that is Torrey Holt. I think Torrey Holt 
getting those four abilities. I keep saying it. The importance of four abilities are, is crucial. When you get the four abilities, they're all maxed out abilities. So it's not like whenever somebody's a 97 or 98, you get the, that one trash ability, right? For Eric Dickerson, for example, I had to run evasive outside, no, pin and pull guru, and then backfield mismatch. Who cares about backfield mismatch? For Calvin Johnson, the Duke Tory Holt replace, I had to run, what was it? Slot Apprentice, right? I didn't have Route Apprentice, but with Route Apprentice on Tory Holt, Either he's lined up in the slot or on the outside. I'm able to get on custom route. So I get four extra hot route audibles. I'm able to cook up with those. You can't guard this man man to man. Because on the outside, all I got to do is the post corner. So the post corner is like a double move. You're going to see a whole lot of that being man coverage in this video. Right here, this is a grown man move. Get off me. Oh my goodness. Told him to talk to his hand. Wow, my mama don't even do me like that. That's crazy. But... Diving catches with post flag. He has that. As soon as he gets his hands on it, plays over. Right. He caught it. Don't worry. It don't matter. He hits it. Then whatever. So he got post flag. Route apprentice. I got streak apprentices. The first highlight you saw, he just burnt dude. And a lot of these cover three beaters. I just put the outside dude on a comeback route. And I motion hold over there with the streak specialist. And then just pass lead it to the outside. Comeback route keeps keep the outside third corner down. And then the streak able to get away from that safety far enough. Able to complete the pass. So that's Street Specialist. The fourth one I have on him is Route Apprentice, Street Specialist, Post Lag Elite, and Route Technician. There it is. So he gets faster cuts anywhere. I'm not sure how good that one really is. I used to love it in the beginning of the year. I feel like route running on him is so good. He probably doesn't even need it now. But I mean, I still have it on him. He cooks up absolutely like right there. Look at how much separation he created. Because that post corner route that's only available on wide receiver apprentice or route, uh, route apprentice or outside apprentice, either of those, right? It's not available on slot apprentice, right? But that route right there or on the play, you call it, uh, absolutely kills man coverage, man. Absolutely kills it. Right here, post. He's fast enough. <laughs> To catch it and then run after it. The thing about Calvin, why he's better, besides the abilities, the way I scheme up, I don't need my wide receiver to be six foot five and go snag over you. But this man can still snag over you. Don't ever get it twisted. But I'm more about getting open. I'm gonna throw it to the open dude. So he could be five foot seven, Jakeem Grant. I still finna get highlights with him. You know, five foot ten, Tyreek Hill was one of my best offensive weapons in the beginning of the year. Still got highlights with him, man. You know, that's what it's all about. Being able to scheme up, read defenses, get your wide receivers open. And uh, the abilities do help, but I can also do wild abilities. Don't ever get twisted. Street Specialist built me out there and a couple other times. I'm not going to lie, but hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Gold 99s. Let me know what Gold 99s you have on your team. And I highly recommend switching over to Gold 99s. There's a reason I went 25-0. and 0. Those extra abilities do matter. This game is all about abilities. The more, the merrier. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.